Hey everyone, my name's Owen. I'm 46 years old. I started the Calista, uh, the Calamove programs when I was 44. And so almost two years now I've been doing, I'm going to give a review. I've done the, nutri um, the nutritious program, done the mobility and the complete calisthenics bundle one, which includes beginner, intermediate and advanced. So if you're looking um, to check out those programs, want to hear about my experience with it, this is what this is all about. I'll start with the mobility, the mobility program. Um, I love it. Tremendous value. When I started, um, my posture, I was hunched over. I, when I go to touch my toes, I've never been able to touch my toes in my life. I have long legs and it was always my, my excuse. I've got long legs. And, uh, when I first started the mobility program, um, I could just barely bend over past my knees. And now, um, I've been able to get, um, just almost completely the palms on the floor. And um, I just keep that mobility at this point. What I did with the mobility program was I used it as the warm up for the strength program. Those can go side by side for a long time. Having said that, <clears throat> when you're in level one of the mobility program, I, I love the slow start they do. They have like five minutes, five minutes a day. Um, for the warm up, and then enter, uh, the beginner is like probably 15 minutes ish, uh, three times a week. And it allowed me just to say, um, I'm not in a rush. This is going to be a lifestyle. And uh, just because I, I, I'm the type of like to see really quick progress, but um, just step by step. Uh, and little by little, the fun part is every week you go, oh, I think I'm, I think I'm an inch lower. Um, uh, a, little, a little farther in this one than I was before. And before you know it, you're doing things that you didn't think would be possible. And then uh, when you go to level two of the, the mobility program, it's the mobility is divided into, into three parts. Level two of the mobility program, they, they really step it up. Um, there were some a uh, couple of moves that I really struggled with that I didn't get until the very end of, of level two of mobility. And when you do that, you just, you know, you, you can't do the move they want you to do. You just do your best and slowly you progress and i did um i did level two of the intermediate program i think three times before i felt i was ready to move on to level three level three is a huge step up again from from level two to level three and the time commitment is huge so you go from uh as i said in the beginner it's maybe 15 minutes when you get into the intermediate it goes and it just maybe starts like a half an hour and then the, maybe to 40 minutes towards the end and then in level three, you're going to like a minimum of 40 minutes and then sometimes an hour. And that was actually a lot to do as a warm up into um, the calisthenics program, because uh, we'll talk about the calisthenics program, but that could stretch out to be two hours. And and actually some of those I had to adjust a little bit because um, they talk about it in the mobility program that when you're when you're doing the stretches, the more active stretches, you are tearing your muscles as well as well and working with muscles. So I ended up tearing tearing my chest muscles, and I had to take a like a two week break, which really sucked, from the training program as well as mobility, and let my chest heal and then go back. So having said that, um, I, I did go ahead and finish level three, and then you have the option in the program, and. They give it's it's about a 15 to 18 minute routine that you can do to keep your um, mobility that you've gotten so far. And I use that now for my warm up for the complete style sprint calisthenics program um, every time. Uh, so I keep that mobility as well as as warm up my muscles. But then you can also move into um, the straddle, the splits and then the V sit. And these are really fun goals to to try to accomplish. Uh, so I, I first I just did one at a time, just added to my normal routine, the 15 minute warm up. I said, OK, I'm going to work towards the straddle. And that took probably six months. And then one day I just said, you know, I'm feeling stretchy <laughs> and I gave it a shot. Here's what it looks like. And this is when I got my first straddle. And um, so I, I just keep that now. And now I'm doing the, the splits, the front splits. and I've, um, I'm making a lot of progress. I'm, I'm just maybe two or three months into it. And um, I've got still another four to five inches yet before I've got the complete splits. And then after that, I'll work into the V-sit, which I still need some core strength for anyway. But that's, um, that's the mobility program. I've shared it a ton with friends and family and um, even coworkers. And you just, 
It's my favorite part of all of the Calamove program to be where I was so stiff to now having um, such a larger, larger range of motion and being able to complete some of those cool um, moves uh, meant a lot to me. So easily worth the money. The videos that they have um, to step through them are fantastic. And I always would record myself. So watch the videos, record myself doing the moves, and then um, watch my videos compared to their videos. And okay, I need to tweak this and that. They have so many little moves. Maybe you got your hand like this. You should have your hand turned. Maybe your foot is on the ground and it's supposed to be laying flat. All those things make a big difference in the muscles that you're stretching. And the other thing that I that I had to realize in myself was um, to to get the stretch and r really earn that stretch is difficult. And it's easy just to kind of get into it and kind of half-heartedly do the stretch. Like you, know, you have to tell yourself, you made all this effort to come here and do this to get into this position. Make it count, right? So um, that's the mobility program, A plus on that, love it. So let's talk about then the, the calisthenics training program. Um, I really didn't know what I was getting into when I got into it. Um, so I said I've been doing this program for about two years and it was around um, quarantine where uh, I was getting in the worst shape that I've ever been in and just sitting around all the time. And so I started um, to do some calisthenics and wanted to find a program. That's how I found Calamove. I just looked it up. And of course, so the complete calisthenics program um, is just designed, as it sounds like, but I just wasn't aware that it's really designed towards cal just calisthenics and, and so many impressive moves that you can do with them. And of course, you build the strength and, um, and that's wonderful, but not necessarily designed to build muscle, although um, you'll see how my body has changed drastically uh, through each one of the programs. Uh, again, the thing I love with Calamove's program, um, so I was 44 and in really bad shape, and I was able to take things really slowly with their approach. Um, and they have a ton of flexibility in the program. So if you're going to, if you're supposed to do eight push ups, well, they show you, you know, you can do anywhere from, uh, I started with doing push ups on the stairs, leaning on the stairs on stair four. Then I moved down to stair three, stair two, and um, everything is slow and controlled. And I love that because um, I wanted to avoid injury and um, take things slowly. So you can go anywhere from like those stair push-ups or even against the wall all the way down to one-arm push-ups. And I've just started one-arm push-ups. So I've come a long way in the program, I guess, to, to highlight where I've come from, from beginner to intermediate to advanced. Um, and I, I'll talk about my journey through those because I actually did intermediate three times. Um, but I, I went from not really being able to do more than a handful of push-ups uh, on the ground and even that with poor form um, to now I'm working on one-arm push-ups um, on the third stair because I can, archer push-ups, I can do um, more than the quantity, um, the number of repetitions that I'm supposed to be doing. So I started one hour push-ups on stair four, now I'm on stair three, I'm gonna work my way down. Um, Pull-ups was, and this is probably, I'm, I'm guessing will be the experience for a, lot, for, a, for a lot of folks getting into this, but um, I never did pull-ups in my life. So when I started the program, all I could do was hang and shake. <laughs> couldn't even start to move, uh, couldn't even start to bend my elbows to pull up. Uh, so I went from there to now a year and nine months later, um, I can do like seven day pull-ups with really good form without any kipping. Um, so huge progress there, but it went slow. So um, I guess I'll talk a little bit about what you need for the program. I've got a, um, you see the rings behind me, got this pull-up bar that I built uh, instead of buying one. And then um, I got the um, parallel bars here and uh, then some straps and that's it so i think total and equipment um probably in the neighborhood of um, 150 to 200 dollars is what i spent on equipment and but it's it's all that simple which is what i love about calisthenics um is uh, you just don't need all the equipment and when you travel you can you can find pull-up bars etc so 
um, that's what you, you need for the equipment to get started. So in the beginner, um, each, each program is designed for, you know, around three months. And, um, so it shouldn't really take as long as I, as it did, but, um, I, again, they have great flexibility in the programs as you go through them. You can see what I look like in beginner and, and what I look like uh, when I was done with it. And, um, you know, progress from from being able to do like maybe two dips to um, now I wear uh, uh, some weights and um, can do 15 with 20 pound weights on. Um, so again, the mentality with this program was you could really take one level and do a ton with it. Like I said, I did level two uh, I did it three times, um, but that was because well, one, I got COVID and I, and I couldn't do the exercise for a couple of weeks. And so I just said, well, screw it. I'm going to start over. Um, and then, um, then I had some friends that started the program and I told them I would start over with them and went back to it and did it again. And then, um, I was just behind in the pull-ups and department and, uh, wanted to wanted to be more up to date before I started the advanced program. But you can see the the changes in my body, the changes in the strength. I love that. Um, the workouts are always around an hour, 45, 45 minutes to an hour. Sometimes they can be up to an hour and 10 minutes, but they change it frequently. And you always have something new, something a little different to keep your interest so that you're not bored. So highly recommend the Complete Style Calisthenics program. Now, um, actually just here at the end of Advanced, um, today was the first day I was able to complete a handstand, um, kicking up and not needing a wall. And so these little goals that you have of, of something fun to complete and you get a little closer and a little closer, and it's great to develop that patience with it and then to see the results is really exciting. So A plus with the complete calisthenics program. I'm moving on to the um, expert program. I won't be surprised if I've got to do that two or three times, and then um, then I'm going to move on to the master as well. So I want to talk briefly about the nutrition program. Um, so I didn't start the nutrition program until I was actually in the advanced of complete calisthenics. I just um, didn't didn't really understand nutrition and didn't um, didn't want to pursue nutrition. I just wanted to eat. <laughs> So somewhere, somewhere in the beginning of advanced, I realized um, I was building muscle. So my shirts, my normal shirts were getting tight around the arms, tight around the chest, but my body didn't look anything like what I would really want it to look like, but I was getting strong um, and building muscle. But I was still probably um, 22, 21% body fat and wanted to, wanted to trim down. So I got the calisthenics nutrition program because I love all their other programs. So essentially what you'll have with the, the nutrition program, it is a pretty low price. Um, so uh, I, I wasn't expecting a ton, um, but you get, it's a really kind of an advanced spreadsheet where you can put in your data and then it will align with your workout program. But there's still a fair amount to learn about macronutrients and they try to simplify it with um, giving a list of foods and what those are high in and what quantity of those you should see, should eat, et cetera. So I spent some time um, diving through that program. Um, it, it wasn't a small amount of effort in terms of like digging through it and finding out what it was all supposed to be. Like they give some sample meals, et cetera. But this is, um, of all the things that I have, uh, from Calip Move, and as much as I love everything they have, I would just recommend um, learning about nutrition and then tracking it yourself. Um, and the reason for that is, is th there's a, a lot of programs. I have friends that have done the 21 day program. I have friends that have done the Weight Watchers program. And, you know, I guess I want to give credit to Calip Move's nutrition program because they launched me into learning about nutrition. And then I just went ahead and, and used my fitness pal to, to track my own nutrition, understand what Calamove was trying to do um, with 
cutting and bulking or like a body recomp and a little bit of intermediate fasting that they have in there. And, and then I just went ahead and made, made my own program. So understanding calorie intake, um, the calories that you're burning and what it is you're looking to accomplish, what are the numbers, you know, how much you're supposed to eat, how much protein. Um, there's a lot of information to dig through in YouTube videos and other websites. And it was a lot of work. Um, it took me probably um, two weeks before I felt comfortable with what I was doing. And so then I just went on a cut where I said, okay, I'm going to um, lose, uh, eat the amount of calories that's losing two pounds a week. And I did that for a couple months and I lost um, 20 pounds and you, you lose some muscle with that too. That's just how cuts go. You know, make sure you get enough protein, continue your workout. And so I was able to to trim down. I was where, where I would normally like the weight, but still my body fat was, was around um, 19% or so. And then I did a body recon program. And this is um, very similar to what some of Move has. And you can see the difference here. This, this what you're seeing this before and after is two months or well, seven weeks of, of a body recon program. Again, it, it's, it's a commitment and it's work to do. But you can see the results there. That's a, that's a drop in 2%. 2% of body fat, and um, I'm going to continue doing this program and maybe hit the target of 15 to 16% body fat, and I think um, I'll probably stop there, and then I know exactly where I need to be in my calories for maintenance, and then just continue the calisthenics program. So that's my summary of the Calamove uh, programs. I love them. The super high-quality videos that come with it. I love that I don't have to think about how many sets or reps that I should be doing and how frequently in a week. I, um, I'm glad I don't have to research all that. I can just follow their program uh, and whatever they say to do, I do. And I've, I've had great results without injury and getting stronger and being able to accomplish some uh, impressive moves that, that have been fulfilling for me personally. I highly recommend it and I hope you have great results.